Well, welcome to Metal Detect in Wisconsin. Just wanted to show you what the temperature was. Um, it's about 9.20 in the morning. I'm going to hunt this uh, camp again today. It's a private camp that I do have permission to be on. And uh, probably got about four, four and a half hours to hunt today. So hopefully I'll add to my silver count. And I will get back to you once I find something. Well, I got my first good uh, target. Not even five, walked five feet, swinging the coil, and I got a silver. It's at the bottom of the hole right here, bottom of the plug. And it's a Merc. Guess I'm continuing right where I left off the other day. And yes, that uh, shooting in the background, I am near a uh, uh, rifle range and it's getting close to deer season, so there's a lot of guys out practicing. Some of you might be wondering too, how I can uh, hunt when it's 34 degrees out. Well, I wear some uh, cold weather gear, same stuff I wear when I was deer hunting and I can pretty much spend the whole day out here. It doesn't really bother me. One thing I wanted to mention, CTX 3030, uh, MindLab pushed out a uh, firmware update for it yesterday, and I loaded it last night. It has a saltwater um, feature on it, and also the nice thing is the pinpoint trigger on the back. Right here, you can actually one click on, and it locks the pinpoint in the pinpoint uh, position, and one click off. That's kind of a cool feature. Yeah, they, they did do a bunch of other um, updates to it also, so we'll see how smooth she runs today. And if you uh, got your CTX, you might want to check it out. I, I love the, that option of being able to update, and it's totally free. Uh, the pinpoint lock is something that a lot of guys have been asking for, so I'm glad they did that. Okay, we'll uh, get at it here and See if we can beat my nine silver uh, day I had the other day. I had a 12.44 and it's only had two inches. Thought maybe I was going after a clad dime or clad quarter and I got silver in the hole again. It's another Merc. A hell of a start, kind of like I had the other day at the Grove. Started out with two mercs within the first 10 minutes or so, and kind of got the same thing going on today. I just had a 12.44 at 5 inches. Got the hole open and off the side. It was a silver dime down in the hole there. Looks like another Merc. Yep, it's a Merc. Nineteen twenty seven. Yes, yeah, number three. Well, this was a weird signal. It was 1240 and somewhat iffy, but it was down about six inches. I got silver down in the bottom of the hole. It's a rosy. 1243 at 6 inches. 
I must I think it might have been on edge because I was only down maybe about four and it was off the side of the hole so I was had a hard time pinpointing it but I do have silver see the rim of it right there number five for the day. Well, I just got a 1246 at four inches and I was wondering when I was finally going to hit a silver quarter in here. It looks like I got one. I was on the side of the hole here. The Washington. 1964. Nice. Just made it. on all dimes in here so far. Kept telling myself there's got to be a quarter or a half dollar in here somewhere. Okay. Well, I got a, a ring. Looks like a junk ring. It was coming up kind of weird. It was 1237 in one direction. Went in the other direction, it was popping up into the 1243, 44, so I thought, well, maybe it's a couple of coins or a nickel and a coin in, or a silver in the hole. It was five inches, so that's why I went after it, so it just turned out to be this ring. Could be silver, but I doubt it. It's kind of kind of shiny looking. I'll clean it up and show it. Oh, here's a wrap-up of the hunt. Um, I ended up with $1.79 in clad, which is those two piles there in memorials and dimes and quarters, one nickel. Ended up with the uh, six silvers today, a dozen wheats, and here's some of the relics I found. That ring ended up being a, just a junk ring, but it cleaned up kind of nice. It's a nice little ring, a religious metal, another Boy Scout slide, another one unique one that I haven't really seen before, and then this was uh, like a cruel joke to a metal detectorist. Saw this on the edge of a hole, the only thing is it was coming in like 1137, so it's just an aluminum disc, it's not even a token. But I saw the edge, thought it had a half dollar, but was kind of confused with the numbers, so so I didn't videotape it. Thanks again for watching. Um, my next hunt will be next week, Tuesday. Hopefully I'll have some uh, goodies to make another video.